According to the American Cancer Society, one in six men will develop prostate cancer wow. in their lifetime. And each year, the disease claims an estimated 27,000 lives. But now there is an alternative approach. It's new. It is available that promises to kill cancer cells without surgery or without radiation. Yeah, it's being hailed by some as a miracle cure. So where can you get it? Just about every country but ours. <laughs> For years, a cancer diagnosis meant only two types of treatment, radiation and chemotherapy. But with a new age of medicine came a push for new alternative treatments. Now many patients are turning to natural or homeopathic methods for kicking the disease, like exercising, eating healthy, and taking herbal supplements. This is Josiah Surface. More than seven years ago, Josiah was told he would not see his 12th birthday. The chemotherapy for his lymphoma cancer had failed, but his mom never gave up. She gave Josiah mixtures of herbs and supplements. And now, all these years later, Josiah has reached his 19th birthday and is looking forward to many more. Other patients seeking to avoid the ravages of mainstream treatments are heading south of the border to find new technologies. Welcome to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Previously known for its sun, surf, and sand, it has now become a hot spot for, believe it or not, treatment for prostate cancer. The main attraction, this machine, called a high-intensity focused ultrasound, or HIFU, designed to battle prostate cancer. Instead of traditional treatments like surgery or radiation, HIFU attacks cancerous tissue by emitting a high-intensity ultrasound beam. Using pinpoint accuracy, it is able to raise the temperatures of the cancer cells to near boiling, destroying them. Not approved for use in the United States, hundreds of men, like 56-year-old Doug Hill, have traveled internationally to get the treatment. Sold on the fact that it's touted as having few side effects and does not inhibit their sex lives. And that's really the first question you ask is there are there procedures that can spare the nerve bundles which really control your manhood but haifu comes with a hefty price tag not covered by insurance it can run up a bill of twenty five thousand dollars but the alternative could be a lot more a lot joining more. us this morning is cancer patient gary chrisman he traveled to mexico for the high food procedure also with us is uh, steven cianti a urologist who performs high food treatments in other countries of course and one of the country's leading urologists who has some serious reservations about high food the chairman for the department of urology at nyu dr herbert before thank you all for joining us today gary i want to start with you so just last August, just last August, you and I your wife out. decided you were going to do some a comprehensive exam on uh, exactly. for both of your bodies. exactly for for both of us. Uh, we we decided that aging healthy is a good idea. I mean, who wants to be eighty years old in, in a wheelchair? Yeah. So we decided let's let's take a look at where we are and see how how healthy we could get. You got prostate cancer, okay? They, well, they immediately say radiation, chemo, or we're going to cut it out of you. Yeah, you don't the, want any part of that. Well. I didn't. <laughs> no. So you choose this high food down in Mexico. Tell me. So we saw what it's like. Did it hurt? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I mean, there was no pain whatsoever. I walked into the hospital at nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, did the procedure. Uh, it took about two and a half hours. That's it. One treatment. One treatment. Um, I, I was I was asleep. I woke back up. I wiggled my toes, got up, walked around, had a little something to eat in the hospital, walked back out of the hospital about 4.30 in the afternoon, went back to my hotel, and I was hungry as a bear, so my wife and I went to dinner. Your, your hotel resort in Puerto Vallarta, because it, you cannot get this procedure done here in the United States, which, that's right. yeah. for me, I would say, whoa. That's scary? That would be, that would be a concern. I, it was a concern, but I tell you what, the, the hospital is the cleanest one I've ever seen in my life. Uh, it, Who are your doctors? Uh, well, Dr. Cianti uh, was my doctor, as, uh, as well as a doctor. So American know. doctors can go down there and do it, right, doctor? Right. We work, we work in close conjunction with our Mexican affiliates, Dr. Carlos Garcia, mm -hmm. and he's our supervising physician of record, and U.S. physicians work in a consultative matter with Dr. Garcia. But we accompany our patients, we supervise the therapy, make sure everything goes well, and we take care of them when they get back to the United States. Why well, is it not approved here in the United States, though? We're going through FDA clinical trials right now. Uh, it's a long and lengthy process, uh, and it's, it's working through the trials right now. Dr. Dr. Lepore? I'm mm. oh, sorry. Is it, ahead, no, Mike. is it iffy? Well, you know, if you really want to be definitive about carrying the cancer, 
you have to remove the entire prostate. So the concern of those of us who do a lot of surgery is that there is prostate tissue that's left. And so we don't have the data. I think that men who undergo HIFU have to recognize there's a balance in this, that they're likely to compromise their cure for improving side effects, but we don't know that yet. We need the then data. Then what are the dangers of HIFU? Well, the main danger would be you still can have incontinence but and erectile dysfunction. But you can have the treatment again now, doctor. Well, you can, but while you're waiting, the cancer may, may uh, spread. And you, you said incontinence, erectile dysfunction. I mean, impotence is a, is a concern. Well, sure, because it's, of it's, this. A, it's, a, it's a concern for the baby boomers. We want, we want to cure our cancer, but we want to keep our quality of life. I think HIFU represents a great balance between treating the cancer and those that side effects that can really like, affect that. But the patient who undergoes this has to realize we don't have the data. So they have to balance. Okay. I mean, and do they want to be cured? Do you have the sexual or dysfunction after it? No. Not at all? Not at all. Do you have the, that, the rectal burning that they, they talk about? Nothing, nothing like, like that. Nothing like that. But we also have to remember that in skilled hands, that erectile dysfunction can only occur in 20 to 30 percent of men who undergo the definitive cure. If There's, you had prostate cancer, Dr. Lepore, would you go there and have high food? It depends what the stage of my cancer was. If I had a very small cancer, and uh, I might consider this. And in fact, as a surgeon, I've done 3,500 of these surgeries. I'm interested in this because, you know, some people will validate that you could do nothing mm -hmm. because so if nothing is a treatment, reasonable option, then certainly high food would be. So you're not ruling it out. You're just saying Absolutely we need more time. Not. And that's essentially what the United States medical uh, experts are saying, but in Canada, they're doing it there. Yeah. In, you know, Mexico, they're doing it there. One important point yeah. there's not a single treatment that is FDA approved for the treatment of prostate cancer. Radiation, right. surgery, the robot, all these are grandfathered. So they've right. never been proven to We've be. We've never and, gone and, down we'll, this we'll road. Also, okay, we'll, we'll also give you the other countries where you can get high foo on our website, mnjshow.com. After this short break, we take a look at another alternative cancer treatment. Meet a boy who was told he would not not live to see his 12th birthday. You know what? He's 20 years old, thanks to uh, alternative medication and his mom.